Hello, this is Gray Hughes of Gray Hughes Investigates on YouTube. Today is part two of the interview with Josh, one of Stefan Stern's good friends for the last 20 years, although I don't think he considers him a friend currently. So if you could hit that like button right out of the gate, it helps us creators in the YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it. Share the video as well, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and make sure to hit that notification bell and then select all videos so let's get started on part two of the josh interview right now yeah like i it, it's insane it's crazy i like i said you know, uh, not even uh, like a year ago he had reached out to my ex-wife and i had told a friend like that I was telling this about. I told the friend, look, well, at least I know this guy, you know, at least I don't have to worry about my wife you know, bringing my kids to meet her new boyfriend. And it's some weirdo that I don't know. And you know, out, of, out of nowhere, you know, mm -hmm. it's Stefan. I know Stefan. And he's, I, I was okay with that. You know, <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> You want to talk? Talk. You want to hook up? Cool. I at least I know the person who's going to be around my kids, right? Apparently not. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, obviously you didn't notice anything <laughs> awkward with your with him and your kids either. Just he was just no, nope. nope. Hmm. It makes me wonder if you picked uh, Jen for her particular mental issues that she has. So that he could get close to. I mean, if you were thinking back now, did it seem odd that he was dating her because of how she was? Just now, if you think about like, him dating Jen, does that make sense? Or? I mean, I, I never questioned it. I was never like, oh, well, why, you know, mm -hmm. why would you be in a relationship with this person? Like, I know people who are bipolar. My my dad's ex wife was bipolar, and she's all over the place. But does that mean you know nobody should talk to her? Nobody should be in a relationship with her? And you know, like so. I mean, I just kind of okay, cool. You love her. Well, okay. so what I was saying about it, I've been to the house. So like when they, I, I heard that he was staying in a different room or something. They were broken up, and he's still living there in a different room. Like. This is a condo, and it's not just, it wasn't, when I was there at least, it was not just Jen and Maddie and Stefan in this condo, it was uh, Jen's family as well. Uh, like, we were not allowed to go anywhere else in the house except for Jen and Stefan's room, and Maddie had her own room. The rest of the house was not common living area. Okay, her so... family was watching TV in the living room, uh, you know, we were, okay, directed upstairs into the back bedroom. So there isn't really another room, so he probably, I, so to I me it seems it. like it like wasn't, everything. like he just told people they weren't, they, they were broken up is what I think. That, I mean, so that's what it seems like. I, like, but like I said, their, their relationship was, it, always on and off i was always told that oh we're you know we're fighting right now and then oh we got back together and uh you know it, and it was it, ever since i knew about jen it was on and off like constantly still all in all i i feel like jen knows something more there there's more to the story uh and maybe because I know, I know Jen and him, like, sexually kinky people. Right? Mm -hmm. Both of them together. Have, you know, he told me you know, things that they did together. Uh, oh, yeah, cool. Like, and that, I think, for me, that was like, oh, well, that's why he's with her. Because she does X, Y, Z for him. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, okay. So I think I, I personally, I think that you know, maybe all three of them did something weird <laughs> at some point. You know, 
so it was, you know, it, it, it became an okay thing for the, for the kid in her mind that, oh, I mean, this is okay. What do you mean right? think about the theory of maybe she got pregnant somehow? Because why would you kill if, it, if somebody was involved for all those years? There must have been something dramatic that happened. That's, so that's what I would think too. You know, I and I've looked back at the pictures, and you know, I'm looking at the pictures of her. Maybe that that's a possibility, and then like, you know, something was going to happen, and somebody somebody said that they were going to tell somebody or something, or you know, I don't know. That the uh, at first I was like, okay, well. They found her body. It had to have been an accident. Like some, she she had to have like slipped and fell and hit her head or something. And mm -hmm. they freaked out. They didn't know what to do. Or like someone like pushed her or shoved her or something. She got hurt real bad, and they didn't know what to do. So you know they, they put her in the car and came up with a story together. Because neither one of them look like they're telling the truth in their interviews. And Stefan is stoned hardcore in that <laughs> interview. Uh, like, his eyes are all bloodshot. Like, he gets this, he gets this, like, saggy eye when he gets real stoned. And you can kind of see that in the, in, like, pretty much everywhere. Uh, like, one eye closes just a little bit. Yeah, I was actually thinking of something... <clears throat> I was thinking down those lines of something happening in the house, and then they figured out a way to. But I mean, why would you be dumping back, you know, items? Yeah, and the whole thing about him driving her to school in the morning seems weird. Like the mom didn't even see her that entire morning. Right, right. Like, and she is, she's like, in, in like the first interview I saw, she's like bouncing, like the whole time, she's bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, her timeline the, the whole timeline's real weird like okay so you, you went to drop her first off the we thing we dropped her off mm -hmm. uh, and then it's oh my boyfriend dropped her off uh, but he was throwing stuff in the dumpster at 730 right and they both they both said we at some point right so it it feels like there was a story collaborated together and this is the story we're sticking to that we right? came up with that we right. came up with we right. did this we did this mm -hmm. and it, so like like I was saying like my first instinct was uh, well Stephen couldn't have done any of that it had to have been something else there's got to be something else like did Jen convince him to take care of something for her Right, and then I saw that there was the pictures on his phone, and he was arrested. I'm like, oh man. Yeah, the pictures I, on what? the phone sort of put way things more in his direction only. You know what I mean? Right, right. That, I'm like, wow, that's uh, okay. Well, uh, that's red-handed. That does not look good for him. Because even uh, when she said there, "we" just a minute later, she said "he" dropped her. Right. Yeah. You know, so she corrected that, but was the "we" a Unconscious error. What was that term? Um, subconsciously saying we because well, I, think, yeah. I think she does it a couple times. I think there's yeah. she's got she said uses we in there a couple times and then goes back and corrects it each time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and then like I don't know. Yeah, it all just, it. Sometimes people say we like on my channel. I do the videos, I do the shows, but I'll say, yeah, we did a video yesterday that had, you know. And I I can see that as well. It, that, that's yeah, that's real iffy. The we there is, uh, yeah. Uh-huh, exactly. Uh, but he did it too. We dropped her off, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Like, he, and he said the same thing. So yeah. maybe, maybe she was aware that something happened. But if, if, but if it was just him that did it, she would be turning him in to the police unless she was so desperate to keep him somehow. I mean, wouldn't right, she have, if, if she'd it known, wouldn't she? just him that did it. Right. <laughs> if they were yeah. in it together, you know, and whatever it is, 
Uh, and that, so that I think that, you know, uh, autopsy will show a little bit more information uh, once we get back, you know, cause of death and stuff, like, like what happened? You know, like, why? Uh, and I don't know. I, I, the, the school calling, like, when did the school, the, the, the schools out there don't have it. So my son, when I, you know, like today, uh, or well, yeah, one of my sons has an appointment today. Uh, but Thursdays, my son, every Thursday has an appointment. Same time, the school's got a note every day, on or every time Thursday he has that appointment. I get a phone call from the school. Your child missed these classes before noon. Yeah, so maybe they don't have right? that at that school. So and. I have heard different things in different spots of how and when she was reported missing, right? So I've heard that the school called her after school. I've heard that she went to the school to pick her up and wasn't there, so she went into the school and was told that she was never there. Uh, like I've heard, I've heard that the school was closed uh, so she couldn't go back in there. Hmm. So then, then she called nine one one. How, how, and when did she find out that her kid was missing? Supposedly, right? That that's a question. <laughs> uh, yeah, it seems like the reporters haven't asked some of the important questions. Yeah, it's it almost like they're dodging those questions. It's like really weird. The, the whole thing seems really weird. I don't know. Yeah, the interview where they where Stefan was in it, man, he just <laughs> that just seems so ludicrous. I mean, you could probably tell he wasn't being truthful just watching that, right? Yeah, no, definitely. He, I I could definitely tell there he was in trouble. I have seen that look before, um, specifically when he's talking to his dad. His dad would call him and Stefan get in here and have him sit down. That's the look he got. What, what seems strange to me in that interview while he's talking, uh, he says uh, that's the last time we saw her. So again, the we, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, and yeah then I remember that. Yeah. What What really like? Ho ho ho! He yeah, he screwed. Was when when he says reality keeps kicking in. That's exactly what I called out on the show. That's that's the thing right there. That's it. Or reality keeps hitting. Yeah, or yeah, he said something like to the effect of, re, yeah, re, reality keeps hitting, and then he goes, that she's missing. But you know what, he, in his mind, he wouldn't have said reality. That he knows. That's a, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I called out on the show last night. Yeah. So, hey, we saw the exact same two things. Those are the same yeah, two no, things. That that I, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. We have a delay. His crying, like. There is no doubt in my mind he's sad about it. I don't think he's fake crying. Like, maybe no tears? Yeah. If you've already been crying for three days straight, yeah, 24 hours straight, even, like, you've already been dealing with all of this crap, you're numb. Your, your, your tears aren't there anymore. Like, when, 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 my, when my dad passed away, yeah, after the first day of just total grief, like my, I didn't have tears anymore. Right. So, but, but was I sad? Was I still crying? Yes. So, like, I, I don't think that he's heartless either. You know, I, I think that he, he definitely knows that he did something wrong. Uh, and he, he it, what what that is specifically, we don't know yet. Uh, but no, he, he may even he feel bad that. that she, like he, maybe even if you want to say it, like cared somehow about her at some point. But then he's now realizing she's not here, so he's able to draw on that to get the tears. Perhaps I don't know. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Possible yeah. as well. The timeline. Yeah, that, and so that that was another thing that I thought was weird too, as far as like the timeline goes, and like when Jen is being questioned, uh, there's a point where uh, she like 
mentions we tried to track the school laptop it's off mm -hmm. that, that was a little weird to me too like that wouldn't be my first go to is I'll track track the school laptop well somebody said it kind of made sense if you have a if it's a school laptop that you get from the school they put tracking devices on them so that if somebody right. steals it they can go recover it so you know maybe that's what it was that it, sort of it kind of seemed like like she was like mentioning it because she knew that it was off. That's what I, that's the feeling I got. And I kind of like when Stefan mentions uh, that she was asleep during the car ride the whole way. Yeah, that was another one of the things that I because she knows thought. she's lifeless and like he, he knows that ahead of time. Like so, if he says that, then if there's any. If there is any, you know, documentation, somebody saw him, something, and she looked like that in the car. Oh, she was sleeping, right? Right. Yeah, that was the other so, thing that I pulled out of that interview on the show last night. Hey, there's three for three. <laughs> I thought it was pretty great. I thought he was trying to explain why she looked lifeless because she was sleeping. Well, yeah, it's interesting. All, so it's it's interesting. All, it's crazy. It's not something that, you know, I expected at all i did it when when they they came out and said he's arrested and you know, they're taking him to jail for child stuff on his phone i was like oh man my, no way there's no way yeah and it's interesting hearing you being a sort of a longtime friend for 20 years or so that you are thinking the same thing a lot of other people are thinking looking at it logically Right, even though it's like hard to believe, you still think the same things when you're looking at the interviews, etc. You don't have excuses or anything like that for him. It's just well, like I said, like uh, as I'm as I'm watching it happen and unfold. Yes, of course, I'm make I'm trying to make excuses, but all of my excuses, I, like I'm talking to my mom about it because my mom knows Stefan too, you know, and so I'm. I'm talking to my mom about it my mom uh, 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 she, didn't, she didn't really believe it either uh, but like I'm, I'm trying to justify what is happening and I, I told her you know maybe if you like deleted something off his phone or something and sure enough the next thing that pops on the news is that you know he said he accidentally factory reset his phone the same day I'm like, yep, yeah. guilty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the fact you're resetting. I don't know what he's guilty it. of, but he's, he's, he's in trouble. Let's see. That, was, that was really a, a, that, that was a stab for me. I was like, oh, man, really, Stefan? Well, what if there was a, he died of a drug overdose, or she died of a drug overdose. Some Something happened in the house where she, that's how she died, and then they wanted to make it look like she wanted to run away and live in the woods. So, I mean, that's a honestly, possibility. That, and then they found that other stuff that was actually going on, so it looks a certain way, you know. Uh, right, and and that's what I was thinking at at first was, you know, if you've got you know, a few people in the house in a circle doing drugs, and you know, there's a bunch of drugs in the house, and one of them starts seizing, do you call the cops? Yeah, that's you call an ambulance? that happens all the time. People don't say anything because they don't want to get in trouble. Then they're right. then it's cover up mode. Yep. So, so yep, I guess that's that, still that a was, possibility because so far they haven't arrested him or charged him with murder yet. Right. Which is sort of interesting if you think about it, given all the it information is. that we have. Absolutely. <laughs> like so, I don't think we have the full picture. I know. Like I, from from what we do have, I can definitely tell he messed up. You know, he did something he should not have been doing. Uh, what the extent of those things are that he was doing is not known yet. Uh, but you know, we also don't know if it was just him. Which, mm. it, it, bottom line, it, it comes down to we we've, we've got a. We've got a girl that is not with us any longer. Yeah. All said and done, that that's that's the worst part of this scenario. <laughs> well, to me, it seems like yeah. if if they they would have charged him with homicide, I think if 
there was something immediately apparent at the crime scene, like strangulation marks or a gunshot wound, something like that. It seems like they would immediately have charged him just based on the circumstantial evidence that he was the one driving her around. But it seems like, I'm just throwing this out there, I mean, because of the delay in charging in the murder that they really couldn't see anything right away and that makes you wonder if there was some sort of an overdose or like she died of some sort of drugs even if it was intentional or not you do, you can't immediately yeah, prove it, that you could have been a poisoning right yeah something mm -hmm. something like that. that that's yeah yep i agree that, that's what that's kind of what it seems like yeah for me if he if he had if he did just he he killed her right why yeah, and so that's that's the thing. What changed is what I was thinking, and that's why the whole pregnancy thing comes up. However, if she right. just overdosed, then they didn't actually, you know, quote, kill her. It's still going to be, it would still be considered something like that, um, like a gross negligent homicide. manslaughter or something like that. Yeah. yeah, but then he's also got that pornography on his phone with her. So October seventeenth, uh, I I sent him a picture of uh, a Harold and Kumar go to White Castle ticket from uh, when I like first from O four mm -hmm. when we when it first came out we went together I was going through my stuff and found that ticket and was like hey man look at this check it out now some memorabilia type thing like look at this yeah he said. And he said, oh, man, that was a great night. Uh, we were so baked, too, LOL. And then January 29th, I sent him uh, a, a, a reel about Power World. Like, oh, you don't know what Power World is? You see that thing over there? It looks like a Pokemon? <laughs> That's Power World. Mm -hmm. um, and he's like, well, what is that? I don't know what that is. And that, you know, I explained to him what it was. And... Um, that the, I, when was the that last was time you that was, uh, January late January is the last time you January 30th was the last time I, I had a, a response from him yeah. yeah did he reach out to you very often just by him directly from him to you um or is usually you're the one that initiated the it would, I, I, I guess it was usually me that would initiate but I Every once in a while, it'd be like "Happy Birthday, man" or "Happy Thanksgiving," you know, just stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, just kind of saying hi on holidays and you know, events. You know, <laughs> right. I think that's what is one of the things that makes this case interesting to people because of how he's sort of blended in, or I'm not sure when you say blended in. I mean, maybe this is more of a recent thing that's happening, but. He seemed like a normal person to a lot of people, or sometimes a little quirky or weird to some, but they were still friends with him. And so, but you're one that he seemed totally normal with. Like maybe you guys' personalities sort of you jive together a little bit differently. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so you guys are, for you, it's just absolutely more shocking than anybody else because it's just like this good friend of yours that you've had for years, and then, whoa guy's a monster yeah no it, it, it's very very shocking like i'm to the point where i'm like questioning my sanity <laughs> i'm <laughs> like what what thank you very much for watching if you guys could please hit that like button share and subscribe i would really appreciate it also leave a comment about what you heard regarding stefan stearns i've been very disappointed that some people in the comment section use it as an opportunity to trash the guests and people who have courageously came forward to discuss their interactions with Stefan Stearns as they were friends with him throughout his life. So if you guys could have a little bit more class in the comments section, and I'm referring to those people leaving the nasty comments, I would really appreciate it. So again, leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, everybody, until next time, be safe out there.